Hey guys, Dr. White here. I'm going to go over the triple beam balance lesson in the uh, Ultimate Chemistry course. Okay, so this is the triple beam balance. Um, now, triple beam balances uh, are a great instrument for measuring the, uh, the mass of something. Um, and it kind of goes back to the old way that people used to measure mass, right? If you have a known mass and you put it on one end of the scale, and then you put your unknown mass on the other end of the scale, um, then you can compare, right, with it. If it balances out, you know that your unknown mass is the same as your known mass. And the masses on this, okay, they're called sliders. They can slide across, and then uh, we put something on, the, on what's called the pan. The pan is right here, so I'll put this uh, uh, marker. Okay, put the marker on the pan, okay? And then you can see that if I pan over here, excuse the pun. Uh, you can see that the lines here uh, are not are not matching up. Your goal is to match up those two lines. And you do that by sliding the sliders over. So the first thing you want to do is try uh, the uh, big slider. Let's see if that works. Nope, you can see it goes down. That's way too much. So I'm going to put that back at zero. Let's try the medium slider. Okay. Uh, 10 uh, is still a little too light. Move it to 20. Uh, still a little too light. Move it to 30, that's too heavy. So you know that the mass of the, the marker is somewhere in between 20 and 30 grams. So I'm going to put that back at 20. And then I'm just going to slide over my uh, smallest slider to a point where I can get those lines matched up. Now you got to be real kind of careful. You want to make sure that you don't get any systematic error, right? Systematic error is when you always make measurements that are either too high or too low. You want those lines matched up okay now if i look at uh what the the masses are right we've got uh 20 here and then to 20 i'm going to add what this reads out okay and if i look there it's somewhere in between 0.9 and 1 okay so i'm going to say 20.9 and then remember i get one uh i get one i'm sorry so we got 20 okay and then we got something something between 0.9 oh, uh, and 1, okay? So I'm going to say 20.9, and then it's somewhere in between uh, 0.9 and 1. So I'm going to say 20.9, 20, 20 and then I'm going to guess uh, 7 there. 